What's going on guys? Section H Gaming back with some more Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, this is the classic version. Um, I don't know why I forgot that I had this and I tried to play Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and I couldn't speed it up, so I was kind of mad about that. Uh, but let's see, I've already played a few of these levels in the past, but I'm going to go ahead and jump on into the first one and let's see what we've got. If you guys like Roller Coaster Tycoon content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, excuse me there. As I am going to try to play through as many of these as I can, um, as long as people are interested in them. And uh, it's quite nostalgic coming back to the Forest Frontiers. Um, really the first map I played on Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, gosh, that was a long time ago. Uh, probably 20 years ago uh, when the game first came out. So, let's start here. Uh, we have about 10000 in cash. Let's see what our objectives are. Forest Frontiers. Deep in the forest, build a thriving theme park in a large cleared area. To have at least 250 guests in your park at the end of October year one with a park rating of 600. Okay, so that should be super easy. I uh, have quite a bit of land here to work with. Let's go ahead and build a, I believe, a roller coaster. I remember when I was a uh, child on this one, I would always build a roller coaster at the back of this map. Um, really the same one. I'm trying to remember which one. It was, uh, had to be cheaper than 10000 obviously. Let's see here, what was it? Is it Sawdust? Some of these names have clearly changed, so, um, since they remastered the game, so. I believe it was Woodchip. <laughs> I believe it was, uh, Woodchip I would build back here. Um, it's kind of the centerpiece of my park. And uh, $7,500 there. Let's go ahead and build a path back here. Um, the graphics really, really aren't bad, um, all things considering. But you can tell they definitely um, have come a long way. Uh, but there's something about the nostalgia of just the old roller coaster tycoon graphics that make this game so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our first ride open. Um, let me see here if I can charge admission to the park. That would be awesome. Oh, looks like it is free, guys. Um, that's not a problem, though. Got our line here. And, of course, wood chip starts with uh, two roller coasters. Uh, I'm sorry, roller coaster uh, cars on it. And let's go ahead and build another couple of rides just to bring people to the park. Uh, let's go ahead and build the scrambler. Entrance, exit. Uh, and let's go ahead and build one more before I put the paths down. Swinging ship, of course. Wow, this is so nice to be playing this game again. Uh, I loved this game, like I said, as a child. Um, played it all the time. And uh, it's just really, just really a timeless classic, to be honest with you. Um, out of a lot of these games, it has definitely aged very well compared to some of the other games. Uh, even playing the uh, non-upgraded graphics one, you know, the game has just aged quite well, so the graphics were definitely good for its time. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and open these up. Have to go all the way to the open. Uh, so the test. Let's make sure I did that. So it's open back here as well. I have about $1,000 left, and nobody in my park It's closed, of course. Let's go ahead and open it up. That was a mistake on my part. Let's see here, too. All the stalls in one spot, which is very, very nice. Put that there. I'm not sure if, if anybody knows, um, is there any Steam Workshop content I can get for this? I think that'd be pretty cool, too, for some sort of different roller coasters and and designs and maps and things like that. I'm a, I'm going to try to play, like I said, through quite a few of these scenarios. Um, if anybody's enjoying this series, I can definitely do that. And uh, it's like auto turning that right there. There we go. Because, like I said, I really do enjoy this. Um, all right, let's go ahead and go up to speed two. Try to get everybody in here. Um, and that way we just won't be sitting here. Uh, originally I recorded one video on Roller Coaster Tycoon um, 1 for you guys. 
And it was 44 minutes long on the scenario. And I thought to myself, that's just way too long on some of the ones that are two to three years. You know, I mean, I'd have to make two or three part videos for one map. Um, and I'd completed the objectives in probably June. So I was just kind of waiting around. Uh, and that really wasn't fun to me. Um, I had to just kind of sit here and talk about it. And I really just didn't see uh, being able to sustain making those kind of long videos um, and trying to get my YouTube channel started. So like I said, if you guys like this, please leave a like on the video, a comment, tell me what you think I'm doing right or wrong, or consider subscribing. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the faster I'll pump out content. Um, I mean, I'd like to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year, but at this point I probably would set up like 25. Um, I don't plan to really do this for any sort of occupation or anything, even in the future, but I do enjoy making videos. Um, I've just been kind of interested in video making, and I hope I can get better in the future. Because I just want to improve on these things. So, uh, 37 people in the park. Very nice. Starting to come in. Uh, hopefully coming in droves. And uh, we have about $154, which isn't great. But uh, people are riding the rides. So that means that eventually, in theory, we will be doing a little bit better shortly. And I can afford to... Um, build some more stuff. So I don't know why the speed keeps going down. Um, it, it was on 2 and it was supposed to, to be on 2 and then it went back down to 1. Um, I'm not sure if it auto resets for any reason or what the deal is, but we'll see if it does that again. And I wish I had a little bit more money. Um, I've got $51. Hopefully the park doesn't go in the red. But I believe the more people in here, the uh, more money we'll make, obviously. This ride, uh, Woodchip, is being quite successful. 17, 18, 19 people on the ride. Um, starting to make some money for me. Uh, the more and more people that get back there, obviously, it'll be better. And I'd really like to build another um, ride here shortly, but I just don't have any money. Park rating's 824, which is awesome. Uh, those rides are doing quite well. Let me see if I can't remember how to do this. Weekly profit, $130. Not a uh, profitable business model. Um, I just had to pay everybody, it looks like. And I have one janitor and one mechanic. I wish I could charge some money for admission but it doesn't look like that's possible so now really the only option I have is to get as many people on wood chipper as possible and uh, try to earn the money that way and it looks like they're really starting to get back here now um, so we should be able to fill it up immediately I'm also really enjoying the new interface on this um, like I said I can't believe I mentioned in one of my previous videos if anybody had a mod to speed this up I would gladly download it but um, I just can't believe that I forgot that uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic existed. I think it's maybe 1 and 2, but I'm not exactly sure. I know for sure it's 1. Uh, but I definitely need to be able to check that out as well in the future. New attraction, Ferris Wheel. Too bad I only have $72. I uh, can't pay for that, unfortunately. And let's go ahead and bump up the price on the Scrambler and the Swinging Ship to $2. I think that's quite reasonable. We'll probably also charge for the bathroom, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Just in case we get in dire straits, I might. And up to $250. Uh, that's great, actually. Um, and this ride is really packing people in there. Very nice. Uh, but unfortunately, it went down again, and uh, my handyman is just not really doing what I want him to. Uh, sweeping footpath, which is good. Let's go ahead and take him off. Uh, he's automatically not set to mow grass. I used to hate that, um, where you'd look and your handyman would just be like out here mowing the grass, not really getting anything done you hired him for. But uh, that's just part of the me old mechanics, and luckily they put it in there so you could turn it off. Let's see here. Wood chipper doing great. 
Um, wish I had uh, more trains on it, really. I think that's the only way that it could be doing any better. Um, just getting more people on it, spending more money. Total customers, 126. Favorite ride, 30. Uh, 1,500 customers per hour, which is pretty good. Popularity, 76. Satisfaction, 75. Very nice. And uh, getting close to $400. Um, these rides are doing well. And let's see how much the Ferris wheel costs. I think adding a fourth ride could help me. Uh, Ferris wheel is $450. I think probably when I get up into the 600 range, I'll definitely spring for the Ferris wheel. But right now I'm already in May, and I believe I've met um, 250 guests in the park, so I'll meet that no problem. And then um, my park rating is, is the size it needs to be. The park rating needs to be 600. It's like 850. So that's good as well. And uh, we're at 515. Like I said, I'm going to try to... That's 450. 460 for the merry-go-round. The slide is 330. Um... Let's see if I can just get a few more people in through here and then, oh, slow down again. Speed that back up. And uh, now I believe it's time to add the Ferris wheel. Not a huge fan of Ferris wheels myself, but I feel like it kind of is the staple of most, um, especially older theme parks. Let's go ahead and rotate here. Save a little bit on the pathway there and go ahead and open that up. It's a dollar. Um, I think probably two dollars is reasonable for the Ferris wheel. We'll see. Might have to make some adjustments for that um, in the future if, if I need to. But of course, like nobody's nobody's going to it right now. Um, so let me exit off this. And maybe I'm charging too much. I'm not sure what the mechanics are really uh, on this. So let's go back down a dollar and see if anybody lines up for it. And let's see, wow. Um, need to hire another handyman, it looks like, to just kind of have him patrol back here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then handyman one, we can set him to patrol uh, really just the entrance here. Perfect. So we've got the whole park patrol now. Have a little bit of income coming in. Uh, Ferris wheel probably wasn't my best choice, but that's okay. Uh, we will definitely know that for the future, that the Ferris wheel does not bring in the profit I need, and hopefully I'm not in a situation where uh, I have $170 in the bank like the entire time. Uh, leave it in the comments if anybody knows why it is um, slowing down like that still. Not really sure about that, but it is what it is. I also hate the fact the Ferris wheel can't load everybody at once, like on the roller coaster pack in three. Like it really has the mechanic of a Ferris wheel, um, how it loads the guests on there. All right, back up to 281. Doing quite well. Wood chipper loading them back up, making a ton of money there. see what else can we build here um i believe the haunted house could be good or the merry-go-round and guys i'm sorry i've disabled the music on some of these things as well as the main menu because it's just one so loud i didn't know how to turn it down and then two i didn't know uh i can let me check here and, and see um uh, if the volume is adjustable and it uh it's not i don't know why i don't know what they did uh, but it's either on or off, and there's no um, volume adjustability. So that's just something we'll have to deal with. No music, but um, it should still have it on the rides and stuff. It just won't have it like at the main screen and things like that, which is fine with me. I don't. Um, it was just so loud, anyways. I couldn't talk over it. Let's see, 
think when I get up to about six hundred dollars, I'm going to build another, uh, maybe a haunted house or something. And I really need to hire a third janitor, but I just don't know if economically if that's possible. Let's see here, we can uh, build the path right there. Very nice. I think wood chipper probably can, we can probably get up to four dollars on wood chipper. Let's go up to four fifty and see if people still get in line for it, which they are. Just need to keep an eye on that, and make sure people keep getting on it, but it looks like they will. Um, and hopefully the handyman comes through and, and sweeps up all that vomit. It's um getting quite nasty out here at this part of the park. I don't really know what he's doing. Um, he's heading down this way. Let me go ahead and drop him here so he cleans up that vomit. Then hopefully he heads up this way. So, 450 on wood chipper doing quite well. I hate that it passed that wrong color there. Um, there we go. Fix that. How about $500 in June? Uh, still keeps going down to uh, one speed, which is okay, you know, on this first one, but on some of the other ones on the later years, um, I'd really like for it to keep going on the speed there. Um, I don't know really why it defaults back to that, unless it's when I click something it does, or what the deal is. Alright, let's go ahead and put the haunted house in. Rotate. I believe it's probably when I go into the build menu um, is why it is giving me an issue with that. That's the only thing I can really think logically um, that would kick that off. And let's go ahead and open that up. And another thing is I'm not really sure why you test rides on this unless there's like reliability that, that comes up or something like that that helps it. Haunted House, probably a $1.50 ride I think. Let's see if people continue to get on it. Yeah, looks good. Uh, now we have five rides and doing quite well, I think. Uh, not generating a ton of money, but we are doing pretty well towards the objectives. Have almost 300 guests in the park, which is quite nice. And uh, hopefully most of them brought money, so that's pretty good. Go ahead and add some trash cans back through here. Just so maybe that... Maybe somebody will throw up in the trash can instead of um, on the ground. I'm not sure how that works really, but that is okay. So, we're in June. We need to get to October. I'm going to bump it up with three speed. Um, see what we've got going on. See how much money we're going to make. And then I can go back down to two speed. Uh, this ride here is doing so well that I wish I could afford another roller coaster. Um... You know, 450 for wood chipper is just insane. Uh, I could probably go up more, but I don't know if I need to. And uh, it's just really raking in the cash for me right now. Uh, all these other rides are too, but they're a lot slower to turn over um, than wood chipper is. But the haunted house is actually doing quite well too, which is impressive. And uh, I think I could definitely do with one more ride, maybe. Yeah, it's when I click the construction menu, it clicks it off. I don't really have a ride that, unfortunately I don't really have a ride that would fit in well here um, that I can afford. Like I said, another roller coaster would be awesome, but I um, just can't really afford it. So we're in June. Uh, we need to get to October. So I am just turning over in January. I actually got the log fling ride. Let's see how much one design available. Splash Mines, $5,600. Without the scenery, it's uh, $2,400. So we might go to Ford Splash Mine before it's all over. Bump that back up to two. Uh, and the grass is kind of getting a little bit long out here. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not, but that's okay. Let's see, we've not won any awards. Um, we've met the... Uh, Objective there. Attractions. Number of ride attractions. It says eight. I'm almost thinking it's got to count the bathrooms as that too, which is kind of weird. Uh, park rating, 839. Uh, people's at 333. Still upset it's a free park, but that's okay. Uh, 
they're paying enough for these rides, I guess. And um, I believe I need to hire uh, one more handyman, and he can mow the grass. Just I'll, I'll sit him on mowing the grass as well, and that way he'll take care of it if he needs to. And really, the unfortunate thing about it is, guys, I apologize, but I just really just don't really have another option to build any cooler rides. Um, one, money, and then two, really, there's just nothing that's been researched. Still got the wood chipper here. Let's see how many people wood chippers have on it. Go ahead and turn the maintenance up, too. Let's see here. Wood chipper uh, profit, 7500 per hour. Total profit, 2800 Um It's really... It's had 750 customers, but it's not made its money back yet, which is kind of funny. Um, haunted house broke down, unfortunately. It's alright, the mechanic will head over there and fix that. Got the uh, handyman here taking care of the grass. Groundskeeping looks fantastic in this one little area. Um, unfortunately, none of the other stuff does. But that is okay. So, let's see. New ride information kiosk. Go ahead and put that out. Um, it's, if anybody's watched my Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 uh, videos, I'm a huge fan of the information kiosk. One, because if it rains, and two, it's just nice for people to be able to buy a map. Um, I think it lets them get around faster. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and go back up to three speed just to kind of rush this along. I think this video is getting a little bit long. Um, and I am pretty much done just kind of waiting for that last uh, that last little bit. Uh, let's see what... <laughs> I feel like I keep slowing it down right after I speed it up. So, let's see. Crazy Caterpillar, 9,000. And uh, Mango Muncher. How much is this without the scenery? 2,600. So I can almost afford this ride. I, I might... I might sneak that in there at the end, but let me go up and end up for three speed so we can get this done. People are really enjoying uh, enjoying the rides. I guess the prices are good for them and everything, so that's that's good. The, the stalls are doing quite well. Go see. Go ahead and see if I can't afford the mango muncher. Uh, that the scenery. That's my fault. And it appears I can barely afford it, uh, which is fine. So, go ahead and place this down. 2600. Oh, I just missed that, actually. It just went down a little bit. So, I need to go back to three speed for just a little bit. Uh, got it there now. And uh, it's probably going to take me a little bit more money than I have to build the uh, entrance to it and the exit. If I can even remember how to build a path up in the air. Uh, that's an interesting situation to be in. Let's see here. Here it is. Go ahead and rotate this again. Sorry. Awesome. Let's go around to the back, build the exit. And uh, I believe after I get this ride open, the money problems will be completely over. Um, not that they were that bad after I got going, but... Ooh, not enough cash, unfortunately. So let me go ahead and put this up on speed and uh, see if I can't get enough money to build the rest of this path. Perfect. Have it there. Not the best looking... Oh, just kidding. One short, I apologize about that. And um, let's go ahead and get this open. And get 
the line busy, it looks like. People are already lining up for it, which is awesome. Yeah, it's doing quite well. $2 already. Uh, let's go ahead and bump up to three. Um, new rides, I think, attracts more people as well. I know that's how it kind of was in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I believe. I'm not sure how it is on this, though. So I am doing quite well money-wise. Um, earning a lot now, which is nice. Um, in September, we are two months away. Mango Muncher is basically full all the time. Looping roller coaster, new ride and attraction. That's good. I think probably just three speed till the end here, and that, and that should be good. Um, you know, I could start trying to pay back the loan, but I think it, on the park like this, there's really no point. Uh, let's see here. What else I can buy? Nothing really comes to mind of, of what I need. Maybe a cotton candy stall. I'll put a cotton candy stall in just for people's uh, enjoyment. You know, probably not recommended by the uh, American Dental Association, but that's all right. It's already making some sales. And uh, let me rotate back around to kind of how I had the camera before. I do need to hire some more um, handymen, it looks like, to keep this place better. Go ahead and hire two more and see if we can't get it cleaned up. Make it look nice. Uh, we've got the one that's mowing like crazy out there, doing a great job. Uh, and then the ones out here are sweeping the pass and, and trying to keep it nice. Which is kind of ironic that where the roller coasters are, it's always pretty clean. And down here is where the issues are. I guess probably the scrambler and the swinging shit make people sick as well, but... Um, you would think the roller coasters would make people quite sick. Let's see here. Uh, let me go ahead and assign this handyman just kind of um, this area so that way it stays clean back here as well. And if anybody has any great ideas about handyman management and things like that, I'd, I'd like to hear them because I just don't know that much about it. Um, in this one especially. So, uh, October coming up on October 7th, end of the month, is what we're doing. Uh, 445 guests, actually 450 guests, 864 park rating. We have crushed this first one. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. If you like this series, um, curious about Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, um, anything like that, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll have some more content on it. Uh, I don't think I'll be making a video every day, but maybe every other day or something like that. Um, I put a lot of videos out early uh, just to try to get some foot traffic, and I've gotten uh, a few views. Um, I think maybe a hundred something is the most I've ever gotten on a video, which is not bad at all, um, for especially for starting out. So I'll uh, be interested to see how many people enjoy this um, classic scenario. Let's go and do the observation post tower I should say sorry not post and uh, entrance exit go ahead and open that even though it's gonna be like uh, people can't find the entrance or exit but hopefully I can go ahead and get that ready and people are already flocking into that And uh, $3,700. I think this has been a pretty successful part, guys. Um, it was a little bit sketchy in the beginning when I had, like, no money. I mean, we really wasn't making any money, but we clawed our way out of it. Um, this second roller coaster really bumped up the income. And uh, here we go. Congratulations. You achieved your objective with a company value of $95,536. Perfect. So enter my name. Section H. Perfect. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Please like that video if you liked it. Give me a comment, uh, feedback. Let me know I'm doing right or wrong. Consider subscribing. Thanks, and have a great day.